After I posted my last video about Rocket Lab's backlog, I had someone reach out and ask a valid question, which in a nutshell was, does Rocket Lab even have enough cash to bring the Neutron to the launch pad? And I figured since we were doing this exercise with Rocket Lab, we'd do the same thing with Astra, seeing as both companies are sort of in the same boat as far as trying to get a new launch platform to the market. So we'll hop over the spreadsheets and we'll start with Rocket Lab. So the oversimplified way to look at this is just to simply go by cash and cash equivalents. However, I want to go a little more in-depth, and as we go through this video, you'll see why I want to go a little more in-depth. A few of the other metrics that I want to include are current marketable securities, non-current marketable securities, and restricted cash. So we'll start by showing the cash and cash equivalents, and then we'll go down here and we'll look at the quarter over quarter change. You'll see that if we only look at the cash and equivalents, it's a quite a sporadic spread. What I mean by that is you can see it's you know, 100, 87, 60, up to 200 at some points, then down to, you know, 11 at some points. It's not very consistent, and as a result, it's kind of a throwaway metric in my opinion. However, if we include marketable securities, we now have a little more context on what exactly happened with this 200. And the simplified answer is a lot of it got moved into marketable securities. You'll see that overall, the number is smoothed out by quite a bit. However, if we now include the non-current marketable securities and the restricted cash, it paints a much clearer picture. You can see now that the cash burn has kind of gotten somewhat consistent over the past few quarters, to the point where we could just basically call this 30 to 35 as an expectation for cash burn for the semi-foreseeable future. Of course, this is an art and not a science, so it's, it's going to fluctuate with each earnings. What we can see now, I think it's fair to say 30 to 35 million per quarter. So that being said, we'll do something similar with Astra. Let's move down below. You can see that Astra is a company that's a little more geared towards the short term. And the reason is because they don't have the long-term horizon availability like Rocket Lab does. You can tell they're kind of, I mean, they are, they're in survival mode. Hence the lack of non-current securities and restricted cash. They don't have either of those. So it kind of makes it easier in a sense to determine where exactly they are. So let's look at the quarter over quarter changes. Realistically, we could go with either of these two. The reason is they're the exact same without the addition of the non-current securities and restricted cash. We'll be generous and call it 35 million per quarter. Now for the final section here, we'll look at the overall cash situation of both Rocket Lab and Astra, look at the cash burn, look at the runway, the number of quarters that we have available to them, and look at what the terminal quarter would be, which would be kind of the end of the line, so to speak. So I don't wanna end the video on a bleak note with Astra, so, um, we'll kind of get that out of the way first. So Astra's combined cash situation, we'll call it 26.3 million. The current burn is 36.4 million. So the current runway would put us at less than one quarter. Now, my understanding is that they did raise some debt. I think that they raised 10 million as well as they laid off a bunch of staff. So, I mean, I think we could expect the current cash burn to be a little bit lower than what we see here. But I mean, I don't, um, I don't understand how Astra makes it to the end of this year, if I'm being blunt. To kind of top that as well, Rocket 4.0 just got pushed out of 2023. I, 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 I'm kind of stuck for words. I, I don't know what to say about Astra's situation. So as far as I can tell, the terminal quarter for Astra is probably by the end of this year. Moving into Rocket Lab, the total cash situation is 418 million. The current burn, so again, if we take all the cash and divide it by the current cash burn, we're sitting just shy of 12 quarters. So the terminal quarter for Rocket Lab would be Q2 of 2026. Now, obviously this isn't the situation because Rocket Lab has a, more going for it as far as the space systems revenue, as far as the electron revenue, and um, if this past quarter was any example of the, what the future is to bring, the electron is actually going to be profitable going forward. So there's obviously a lot of factors at play. All in all, Rocket Lab has a bit of uh, maneuverability as far as the the runway to getting the neutron to the launch pad and I mean the plan for the neutron to be to the pad by the end of next year personally I think that's optimistic I mean that's great if they do but I would not expect revenue to be coming from the neutron till you know 2025 at best that all being said things are looking good for Rocket Lab maybe a little less for Astra Space I'm not sure what exactly happens next with them if I were a betting man I would assume that um, what happens next with Astra is what just finished happening with Virgin Orbit. It's, it's, it's not the most optimistic view for Astra Space, but um, let me know if somehow you think they're going to last a little longer than 
till the end of this year. Let me know what your thoughts are because I, um, I'm having a hard time seeing it. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Thank you.